Yo, what's up, guys? Raintown7 here with the third pro gaming league match that we're highlighting. We have Clark Kent, who's huge in the Super Magical Cup, versus Spring, who's been around for a while. He's just getting back into the game. So, hope to see a lot of variety here. We see Spring running a mortar deck, which isn't too normal, but maybe you got some inspiration from Woody. That mortar is going to actually lock onto the tower. One, two. Two hits at Lumberjacks and he'll take care of it. Go onto the tower. Encounters those goblins. Probably will get no hits on the tower. There it is. So, Clark Kent's running some a nice different deck, which I like to see. And Spring is probably just running a variation of the mortar. Drops a pump. Clark drops another musketeer. This kind of surprises me. This means Clark does not actually have a pump. He's not usually known to not run pumps. Ends up pulling out a minor ice spirit. Gonna get some really good damage down on that pump. Take it out. Good zap. Again, a great trade. Basically, a miner took out the Electro Pump, which is already a 3 for 5 trade, and taints the tower to allow that Musketeer to kill that Ice Wizard, while the Ice Spirit killed the Mini Horde. So, basically, great Electro advantage. Hmm. I push really isn't going to go anywhere by Clark Kent, but the miner is going to do damage to the tower. Since Clark has already used the miner, Spring can now pump without being worried. My only worry for Spring in this match is that his Inferno Tower is going to be pretty much useless. Because if you think about it, Clark's got all small fast troops that really aren't affected by the Inferno Tower with it being costing 5 Elixir. Clark seems to be cycling back to his Miner, ends up pushing the other side, and Spring lets the Miner pretty much take out the Elixir Pump again. Coming back, I'm... Interested to see when Spring pops that mortar again. And there it goes, just as we're talking about it. On the left side, he ends up putting a minion horde in. Clark's going to be a little slow to react with the fire spirits. And a good miner. Goblins are going to come in. Good zap by Spring. All over this was very good play. Very good play by Spring. That mortar is going to go ahead, lock onto that tower, and probably get another 2-3 shots. So that's going to bring that tower to about equal of what Clark has done. So... Equal game. This game is going to probably come down to who can get... Ooh, that was, that was a messy play. Who can get the most damage and if Spring can set up the mortars. If Spring can set up more mortars, he'll win. Very bad rotation by Spring with, uh, with the Miner. I don't like that. Hmm. Clark actually pulled out the Inferno Tower, but it's too late. The mortar locks on to the Musketeer and also the Tower. Musketeer just walks away in time there. Mortar's gonna go down. Nice miner. Mini horde to block it. He actually blocks the ice spirit with the goblins, which is definitely an interesting move. That miner's gonna come in, almost kill that musketeer. Zap is not enough. Mortar's gonna go down, but I don't know. That mortar's not really gonna get much done. Slow attack speed. Plus that Ice Spirit freezes it, gets one shot off, takes out the Musketeer, but Clark's got another one right in there. Mm. That Minion Horde, not going to get stopped by much. But, as we're saying, Clark is getting constant minor damage. This is what's annoying about these minor decks, is that he can keep sending them, sending them, sending them. Yeah, he's only getting 100, 150 damage every time he's putting that minor out, but he only has 562 more damage to do. And he's got two minutes to do it. Meanwhile, Spring, to do damage, has to set up a mortar and have it lock onto the right tower. That one hit does go off, bringing it down to 900. Hmm. Miner goes down. Spring needs to be stopping these miners. You cannot let these miners go unattended at this point in the game. It just can't happen. Bringing him down to 242. That's one miner zap, and the game is over. Hmm. Another mortar hit though. He does get another mortar hit. Drops the miner in. Another mortar hit. Miner goes down. He needs to. Oh my god. He had to stop that miner. And he didn't. GG to Clark Kent. What a great match. As you guys can see there, that came down to the last second decisions of Spring to put that mortar down and not defend the miner. You guys have to be defending the miner. Word of advice. Another great game. If you guys are interested in joining the Pro Gaming League, the link will be in the description. It's a great $500 ladder. It's a bunch of fun. And we host a $100 cash tournament every other Sunday. So I hope to see you there. Have a good day, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.